from grade 10, Peter, and I am going to discuss the DNA and RNA structure for our grade 10 science project. So, first up, what is a DNA or deoxyribonucleic acid? It is a complex molecule that contains all the information necessary to build and to contain organisms. A portion of their DNA is passed along their offspring. So, after discussing about our DNA, syempre, let's talk about RNA. RNA or ribonucleic acid is a molecule essential in various biological rules in coding, decoding, regulation, expression of genes. And I am fucking again and again. So these are my two structures of DNA and RNA. It was against the light, so yeah, that was right. So Sorry for my shaky camera. Here for the vlogger girl. The two main types of nucleic acid is our deoxyribonucleic acid or DNA and the ribonucleic acid which is the RNA. It is the genetic material found in all living organisms ranging from single cell bacteria to multicellular mammals. It is found in the nucleus of eukaryotes in the, in the chloroplast in mitochondria. In prokaryotes, the DNA is not enclosed in a membranous envelope, but rather free floating within the cytoplasm. The entire genetic content of a cell is known as its genome, and the study of genomes is genomics. In eukaryotic cells, but not in prokaryotes, DNA forms a complex with histone proteins to form chromatin. The substance of eukaryotic chromosomes, a chromosome may contain tens of thousands of genes. Many genes contain the information of make protein products. Other genes code for RNA products. DNA controls all the cellular activities by turning the genes on or off. Girl, ang hirap pag yung science vlogger. The other type of nucleic acid, RNA, is mostly involved in protein synthesis. In eukaryotes, the DNA molecules never leave the nucleus but instead use an intermediary to communicate with the rest of the cell. The intermediary is the messenger, RNA, or also called as mRNA, small letter M and capital RNA. Other types of RNA like small letter R, the capital RNA, small letter T, capital RNA, and microRNA are involved in protein synthesis and its regulations. I will now discuss what is there or where can we find them. Of course, first up, our first one is DNA. We can find the DNA in the nucleides with a small amount of DNA also represent in mitochondria. Hmm. Uh, next up is the RNA forms in the nucleide and then moves to specialize of the cytoplasm depending which type of RNA form. Hmm. Even in their, even in where can we find them, there's also difference. Hmm. And of course, we will not end, I will not end this video without giving you key points to remember. The first one, there are two types of nucleic acids with, which are DNA and RNA. That's the first one. Next is both DNA and RNA are made from nucleotides each containing a 5-carbon sugar backbone, a phosphate group, and a nitrogen base. Third one, DNA provides a code for the cell's activities, while RNA converts that code into proteins to carry out cellular function. The sequence of nitrogen bases A, P, C, and G, adenine, thymine, cytosine, and guanine. 
in DNA and what is what forms an organism's traits. The nitrogen bases A and T or U. I know you were asking or thinking what are the colors inside our structures. There are four colors. Um, these are the nucleotide bases which are adenine, thymine, guanine, and cytosine. These four have their own partners where or they can function well when they don't have or they can function when they are partnered with other uh, you can only partner them it's either A and T or adenine and thymine G and C is guanine and cytosine you can only partner them to you can partner G and C, G and T, or A and G, C and T, or C, C and A. Did you know that in early 1950s, Erwin Chargaff, one of the many scientists trying to solve the structures of DNA. In DNA, the amount of thymine and adenine are the same, are the exact the same. Second, the amount of cytosine and guanine are also the same. Second rule, the proportion of adenine and guanine differs among the RNA, DNA of different species.